Hi guys, I hope you have been enjoying the brooch series that I've been doing, researching the highest selling brooches in the last three months. Today, we're going a little bit lower and I'm gonna show you single brooches that sell for $1,100 all the way up to $1,700. We will continue this series through the rest of the month. So we'll get down to some of those under 1,000 as well as around the $500 mark, which you have been asking for. But today we're gonna to do $1,100 and up and there are quite a few new names that we haven't come across yet. So let's go ahead and take a look. Starting off with a Christian Dior. This is a peacock bird brooch. It does say rhinestone and faux pearl. This one was an auction and that is something getting down here around this thousand dollar mark. You're going to see a lot more auctions. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. It looks like there were 36 bids on this one. It was a seven day auction. There were 21 different bidders and this one was started at five dollars guys from five dollars all the way up to 1125 so that goes to show you if you have the right item an auction can be a smart move so let's go ahead take a look at this super cool peacock brooch really really cool piece with the dangle faux pearls i do see a couple of dead stones here as well as what looks like a missing one you can see this one is signed with chr and dior on the back there and here they are pointing out all the flaws there's discoloration there is a yellowed rhinestone also by ones that are missing and still this auction started at five and sold for eleven hundred and twenty five dollars all right, this next one is one of my favorite brands. I have, and actually the last piece I sold by them sold for more than this. My last Hobe piece sold for $1,200. This one sold for $1,125. This is another one that was an auction. There were 16 bids on this. This one was also a seven day auction, 14 different bidders. This one started $199. So it is a rare piece. This is a small Hobe brooch. So here we'll click in and look just a little bit closer. Hobay is a great name. Not all Hobay pieces will sell for this much, but they are typically almost all worth picking up. There you can see very clearly that Hobay signature. So very easy to identify. And if you find a rare one, they can be worth money. Now I do want to show you, they are pointing out there is a crack in this main stone. You can see cracks throughout it. So do not think that flaws are necessarily going to make the value very, very low on some of these pieces because they might still sell for a lot. All right, I am interrupting this video because I am having an amazing show over on Whatnot tonight at 7.30 p.m. These, my friends, are Juliana. Look at this set. All of this Juliana will be available as well as some others. Look at this vintage micro mosaic and bone little elephant there are sterling silver a lot of sterling silver much more than shown vintage aurora borealis necklaces there's a sterling marcasite onyx cross some turquoise all of this look at the owl the vintage hand-painted owl sterling and jasper all of this will be available tonight on my whatnot plus a lot more so this is a show you don't want to miss tonight at 7 30 p.m eastern I will drop my link. You can get $15 for free. Put it towards some of these amazing Juliana or other pieces. And I hope to see you there tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Up next, this is a new name to us. This one is a Hestonese butterfly brooch. It does say galosh enamel and sterling silver. But this looks like a pretty simple brooch. Not overly impressive, but is very pretty. It sold for $1,200. You can see here with the measuring tape, it's about three and a half inches. Now here's where it looks impressive, but I still would not have pegged this for a $1,200 brooch. So this is Hestanias, Norway. It does say Sterling and a great sale. So watch out for this name. Sterling brooches that are named can be quite valuable and remember, Norway as well as Hestanes. 
I chose to show you guys this one because it is not your typical Trafari. This is a Trafari kitty cat. It is a blue enamel and it sold for almost $1,200. This was a buy it now. You can see the rhinestones around the kitty's eyes. It is not too much bigger than that quarter there. And you can see they're showing it is 3D. Does have, let me go back to that. It does have cracking as well as missing enamel on it. So again, flaws do not necessitate low value on these things. And this one is a fur clip. You can tell by those two pins. And this one was a great sale and another one that kind of caught me off guard that I would not have expected to go for that much. Up next is another Trafari. This is a Trafari Orchid. And this one was another auction, sold for $1,213. They got 42 bids. This was another seven day auction. They had 19 different bidders. You can see they did have one bid retraction. This one started at $95. $95 and ended up at $1,213. So if you have a Trafari that you cannot find another one like it, I think auction is definitely a good move on those pieces and start at the lowest you're willing to take. This one was about a $200 start, but it ended up at $1,213 and this one was a great sale. Up next is another name I am not overly familiar with, and that is Reha. This is vintage Reha green rhinestone with Syria or grapevine. It is a flower brooch and earrings. This one sold for almost $1,200. You can see the set here. This one I do not believe is precious metal. This is just costume. And I do not see a name marking on this one. So I'm not sure how they identified that as Reha. If you are familiar with this maker and know how to identify, definitely let us know down in the comments and we appreciate any help. Up next, this is a vintage Joe Maz, which we have run across this name before, Joe Maz Floral Brooch. I do find Joe Maz in my estate lot. This one, they accepted a best offer on $1,250. Beautiful red rhinestones, as well as the clear. This one looks to be in excellent, excellent condition. And here is your Joe Maz signature. It's kind of hard to read on this, but I'm going to assume it says Joe Maz since that is what they identified it as. And that was a great sale. All right, if you do not know about Coro Duets, that is definitely something I would learn. So they are ones that have double of different things. I've seen birds. This one is a fish. Watch out for the duets. This one says Coro Craft Adolf Katz Coro Duet Sterling. So that is an important part of this as well. Enameled rockfish. So $1,250 sale on this one. We will take a look at these up close. So here on the back, you can see sterling in multiple places on both of those fur clips, as well as the Coro Craft Mark. And the cool thing about these is they come apart. So this pin here will hold them together. They slide in and you can wear them as a duet or you can wear them individually. And this one was a great sale at $1,250. Up next, one of my favorite things is micro mosaic glass brooches. This one is really cool with the goose. It is very, very small pieces of glass. So typically the smaller the glass in these micro mosaics, the older they are. This one, they did accept a best offer on 1300. And you can see they did say with normal wear for an antique. So it is to be expected on pieces that are older that there is going to be some wear. I don't see this one marked Italy. Most of the micro mosaics I find are from Italy, but this one was a great sale at $1,300. Next, this is a Fred Peshlakai Vintage Native American Sterling Silver. This is a pen. This one sold for a best offer on $1,390. And since we're on this one, I wanted to ask you guys, because one of you commented and asked if I would do a research video simply on Native American jewelry. So if that is something you're interested in, let me know. This one was an amazing, amazing sale. You can see the FP here. So again, look up these signatures. Look how tiny this brooch is. And it sold for $1,300. Look up those signatures, guys.
up next is this amazing trafari. This is a true jelly belly. When you hear jelly belly, this is it. This is a jelly belly heron and it is sterling silver. So you've got two very, very popular things. They also say this is a Alfred Felipe. This one's another auction sold for 1402. This was a seven day auction, got 14 bids. It was started at $400. So not a bad jump from 400 up to 1402. And we'll go ahead and take a look here. So this is your true jelly belly with that clear in the middle and you can see this is a very, very large one. And there you can see the sterling mark as well as it being numbered. And this one was a great, great sale. Watch out for Jelly Belly brooches because a lot of them are truly valuable. Up next is another vintage Navajo. This is a knife wing Kachina, turquoise inlay, I love kachinas. You might have seen them on my what sold videos. I do quite a few. I have sold some inlaid bolo ties. This is a really, really cool brooch sold for $1,395. And here you can see the back. So this one is not signed that I see. It does have the bail to be a pendant as well as a brooch. Really, really awesome piece. Beautiful pieces of turquoise inlaid in this one. And yeah, I'm not seeing a signature. This is a great, great piece. And that was a wonderful, wonderful sale. All right. I had to put this one up because we have run across Rebecca Collins designs in the past. This is super, super cool with jade as well as this rutilated quartz there in the middle, which is one of my favorite stones. This one sold for a best offer on $1,500. I will show you here on the back, the signature says, bless our earth, Rebecca Collins, Dallas, Texas. This is a sterling piece. Definitely a name you wanna keep an eye out for as her pieces can be quite valuable. Here is another name I have come across in these research videos, but we haven't seen one in our last few brooch videos. So this is an Araj Moini red apple brooch. It is three by four inches. So it is quite large. This one sold for $1,500. They do say excellent condition, never worn, only displayed. Beautiful, beautiful brooch. Most of the Araj Moinis are signed, but I don't see a zoomed in piece here with the signature but this one's a great sale and that's definitely a name you want to keep an eye out for all right this one i have to say is probably the one that caught me off guard these are and you can see it says itty bitty vintage japanese hand painted flat back celluloid strawberries these they don't they actually don't even show the back of these uh, but they sold for $1,500. So this is another one. If somebody could explain to me what brings the value in these. This one caught me off guard. I'm assuming they had that original little made in Japan tag. I don't think these are even a brooch. It says flat back. It is just three pieces of celluloid that are vintage from Japan. All right, if you think you cannot find Disney pieces, I will tell you that you can. I have found sterling silver as well as gold Disney brooches in estate sales. So this is a Walt Disney Productions Dopey from the Seven Dwarfs. This one sold for a best offer on $1,500. So this is a small brooch. You can see here it is 3D. It's hard to read that signature. I'm not sure what that one says. So I don't know if this is gold. Let's take a look at the description and see if we can see here. Yes, it is 14 karat gold by Walt, by the Walt Disney Productions. Um, and it does say it's blurred, but a confirmed piece. So this one is a great sale. Very, very small brooch that sold for 1500 up next is a Panino. This one is really, really cool. This is a vintage Panino ruby red flowers with green branch and pa, I think, and a pave bow. This one was an auction, got 22 bids, sold for 1531. So we'll take a look here. This was a seven day auction with 22 bids, 13 different bidders, and it started at $350. So nice little jump there for this one. Panino is a great name to keep an eye out for. 
So beautiful, beautiful red as well as clear. And here on the back, you can see the Panino is down here. And these I found quite a few of. So definitely keep your eye out for not this one. Let me clarify that. I found quite a few Panino pieces, but not none valued this high. All right, this little elephant is missing a stone and quite a significant stone there but it's still sold for $1,550. This is a Trafari Alfred Philippe. I think this is from the Jewels of India collection. This one was an auction, got 33 bids. We'll see here, seven days. And this one was started at $5. So this is probably the seller we saw in the last video as well. Very, very brave. But that is called knowing that your piece is rare and trusting that it will sell for what you think it is valued. So even though that piece is missing, still quite an expensive piece. And here you can see that Trafari with the crown above it. And this one was a great, great sale, even flawed. Up next, this is a sign Shriner. They do say it is a book piece. Beautiful pinks on this. And this is quite different from the ruffled pieces that I have been showing. That's why I decided to put this one in. They do say pink and purple. You've got the copper flex in there. This one sold for $1,599. And this is a beautiful, beautiful statement Shriner piece. You can see here that Shriner New York. So a different look, but still quite a significant value on the Shriner selling for $1,600. We are up to our top three. This is another Shriner. This is a ruffle, but it's an incomplete ruffle. It's almost like a Maltese cross. Pretty cool. The brooch as well as the earrings. This one was also an auction. This one got 50 bids and sold for $1,651. And this was also a seven-day auction. And it was started at $95. So quite brave. Again, if you're selling something, make sure you are willing to take that lowest bid because you might not get 50 bids like they did. But this one was a great, great sale. And this is a beautiful, beautiful Shriner piece. We'll take a look here. Beautiful 3D ruffle. And it almost looks like amber there in the middle. And this one looks like it is actually an unsigned Shriner piece, but absolutely gorgeous. All right, another Trafari. And this one's another auction. And a lot of these Trafaris I try and put in because I think a lot of you might not realize the value of some of these Trafaris. So this is a Music Note Trafari brooch. This was another auction. It sold for $1,685, got 35 bids. And it looks like there were 17 different bidders. It was a seven-day auction. And it started at $125. So not a bad jump there for this. And I would not have pegged this music note as one to sell for over 1500, but it did. Absolutely beautiful. I see the Trafari with the crown right there. So it is marked to be able to identify it. And this one's a great sale. So make sure again, look up those exact pieces when you find some of these names. This is our highest selling for this video, and this one is actually a Tiffany & Co. starfish brooch. I just sold a Tiffany & Co. stocking ornament for $300 in only a couple of days. Here you can see this Tiffany starfish brooch. I do not believe this one is precious metal, and it's still sold for $1,700. So definitely give your Tiffany & Co. items a look, whether they are precious metals or not, and that was a great sale. All right, I hope you have enjoyed. We, again, we will continue doing the brooch series, and we will go down under that $1,100 all the way down to maybe 500. If you want to go lower, we will do that as well. I will have another one up next weekend. I appreciate you watching. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and share with your friends, and I will see you on the next one.